City wants anyone who believes they've been a victim of fallen movie mogul Harvey Weinstein to come forward. Yeah, the department may join Boston and London investigators who are already looking into past accusations of sexual harassment. CBS 2's Randy Page is live outside LAPD headquarters with that story as well as a financial lifeline just thrown to the Weinstein's troubled company. Randy? That's right, Pat. We do know that the LAPD now is weighing in on this whole scandal, but first we'll take a look at what the company is trying to do to stay alive. The Weinstein Company, as it currently stands and is currently named, will not survive this. Hollywood reporter journalist Ashley Cullen says the company co-founded by Harvey Weinstein is in survival mode. And L.A. billionaire Thomas Barrick may be offering a lifeline. His private equity firm is reportedly offering some much-needed cash to keep the company alive. It will cease to be the Weinstein Company, whether that means a name change or whether that means they sell to one buyer or divvy things up for parts. The man who caused his company's death spiral appears to be under criminal investigation in at least two cities. CBS in New York is reporting the NYPD is investigating allegations of sexual misconduct. And the BBC reports a criminal investigation is underway in London involving allegations made by two potential victims. Today, the LAPD issued this tweet saying, We currently do not have any active LAPD investigation in regards to Harvey Weinstein's actions. However, we would encourage anyone who is the victim of sexual assault to feel comfortable to report the crime. A defense attorney told me the other day that he would be amazed if Weinstein isn't charged in some jurisdiction. Today, the Producers Guild of America voted unanimously to throw Weinstein out of the union and issued a statement which says in part, sexual harassment of any type is completely unacceptable. This is a systemic and pervasive problem requiring immediate industry-wide action. The Weinstein board was all men. So I think you'll have a lot of companies taking a very hard look at who is in charge in their company, who is in charge on their board, and how they can work more women into those scenarios to, to try to have somebody at the top to prevent stuff like this. Harvey Weinstein will have the opportunity to plead his case before the Producers Guild. And it's also worth noting and very important to remember that through his attorneys, Harvey Weinstein has said that all of the allegations that have been made against him are false. He denies all of them. Let's go back to you.